hello everyone so today we are going to implement passengers of this bus so here you can see there are four passengers actually that passengers are randomized so if I play again now here three passengers here only one so if I stop and play again now we have only two passengers here no passengers in the back so just like that the passengers are randomized and yeah just like before we can enter as the driver and drive away and stop press here again to exit so all right so the passengers are what we are going to add to it right so this is what we have at the moment so you can see inside the bus there are no passengers or anyone it's empty so we can enter and drive away so what i want to implement now is adding some passengers into this bus so for that uh um, let me open the bus blueprint so we just need some display passengers so i'm not going to implement them as characters i'm just gonna add some skeletal meshes here you can use any mesh but maybe we can use some mannequins and we need a sitting animation so let me duplicate this side and name as sidle sit and let's modify this animation to make the character sit so first let's go to the top view and rotate sorry rotate from the pelvis to make the character look forward wait right we just need some rough animation this part is not really important that should be enough right uh, we need to move down to place the character on ground okay this should be good enough let me add a key and apply okay so here is our sitting idle animation Now let's go back to the bus and I'll add few scene components. To attach passenger meshes. We already have a one for driver so somewhere like this should work something like that 
should work. One over here. I'll name as P1 stands for passenger and another one let me duplicate this And in front, they should be rotated 180 degrees because they should be looking backward. Is it enough? Let's add two more in the back. Make sure they are looking forward direction. P5 as well. Okay, now let's attach one. This uh, no jump seat guys here. Uh, Attach okay. Now this skeletal mesh should be manic. Oh. What's wrong with this care? Oh, there is a scale in the mesh. So that's why this is this looks bigger. So the scale of the mesh is 1.65. That means the scale of mannequin should be 1 divided by 1.65. 0 0.6. Okay, and here I'm going to use animation as it and I will sit in animation. Alright, so character is facing that way, so they are facing green arrow. That means turn it like this and Similarly, uh, I'll name this PS1 because passenger socket PS2, PS3, PS4, oh, PlayStation, PS5, P2. 
PS6. Select all of them. They should be moved down. Hold on a second. Why it's not moving? That's odd. <laughs> okay good enough mm, now this is minus 89 let's say minus 90 and select no Location. Wait, I should move down the socket itself. Okay. All right, that's minus fifty seven. Where did it go? Not minus plus. Let's use 55 and set others also to 55. I'll name this one P1 because passenger. Click it. P2 attached to PS1. Duplicate attach to PS3 Oh sorry I changed the rotation didn't I I should have changed the height. Okay, PS4 is here, duplicate with Ctrl D, got P4 attached to PS3, nice. Similarly, duplicate attached to PS5, duplicate has to be a six we are not going to enable everyone
all right this is this uh, our passengers and now uh, the begin play where is the begin play okay here I'm gonna get all the passengers set visibility with a random boy. Uh, if I connect everyone to the same node, I think the same value will be applied anyway let's see how it works so we will see either no one or everyone oh no now everyone is there no one is there let me simulate instead of playing now this guy okay uh let's try this way Matter it out not and collapse this. Hi passengers. And rather than connecting everyone, let's try something like this. Duplicate the node. A couple of times, not necessary to have. One not for all. This is only for visual purposes, so we don't have to worry about collision and everything of the characters. Right. Now we see one here. Oh. Two of them here, one here. If I stop and play again, now this time six, so it's random properly. Yeah, better. Okay, so now if I play the game, now here we have two passengers. Try with those passengers. So for the moment I don't have a requirement to implement stuff like this stop and make the passengers go out or make the passengers come in, get inside the bus or anything. I pressed E while moving, so that's why character exit. So yeah, therefore we can just get away with just measures for the passengers, but if you want to implement things like make the characters, make the passengers exit the vehicle, enter the vehicle then you will have to implement these as separate character blueprints but for now this is good enough and i'm gonna stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye